didn't, he didn't mention the phone, no. but he does say you get a yard. So five and Tony says you get a yard. Um, is he the difference for you, Robbie, as to whether or not Brentford are going to be fighting down there at the bottom? Probably. Um, that being said, I still think there's other players that have done really well for Brentford. Uh, Brian and Burma, of course, a player that's out injured right now. Jan Wisser is another one that's done well. So I think they would have been OK anyway. But him being fit and available, and by the way, like, to, to play 100, 100 minutes, minutes there, yeah. I mean, that's great conditioning from him. I mean, he's obviously gone away and trained very, very hard, ready to play a game like that, which was end-to-end, -end, by the way, and he was totally involved, was, was impressive. I hate to say this because Brentford fans will not be happy with yeah. me at all, but he's done himself a world of favours today as well in the shop window, of course, because he does he does say he wants to play for a big, big club. He does. I don't think that will be in this window, though, Rebecca, for a number of reasons, some of which we've touched on earlier this week. Thomas Frank said something interesting in his press uh, conference where he said he's not just a goal scorer, he's more than that to us. It's not just the football, it's positivity, his personality, and that he's big enough to put players on his back and drag them through a difficult situation. With him back in the team, you just look at Brentford and think they should really have no problems. Not um, uh, dissimilar to Crystal Palace, who haven't got a centre forward in that mould who could get them 10 goals and get them out of trouble. Yeah, the day belonging to Ivan Tony. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And for even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock. And be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you there.